Grandma, I forgot to tell you one other thing. What? In the last election, I accidentally voted for Trump. Get your ass out. <laughs> I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. All right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah. All right, Alfred Talaferro. Y'all already know I represent that Mr. Talaferro TV. I'm here with a guy who's literally making himself a household name. Am I? I feel like you are. My man, my man, my Desi, man. how you doing today, sir? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? I'm good. Can you pull the mic up a little bit further for me so we can hear you out here? I'm pretty good. How about yourself? <laughs> Not that close. I'm Somewhere in between, Desi. Yeah, shit, it's right here. Hey. <laughs> hey, you're doing comedy shows now. Yes. What is that feeling like for you? I seen you, your name on the build a couple nights ago. That's got to be big for you, right? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm learning, growing on the stage. Uh -huh. you know, it's just another platform to, you know, helping my brand build, you know, as far as comedy to acting. So, yeah, it's... It ain't as easy as Instagram. It's a whole other ball game. Are you learning that as we speak? For sure. <laughs> so when you hit that stage, do you freeze? Like, what was the feeling oh, I like? I can't freeze. You can't freeze. No. I think I seen Breeze. She said she got a poop before a show. So like, yeah, for shit, for she sure. got. A, you didn't have to shit though. I, I have. Yeah. Um, but them jitterbugs do yeah, get in. Yeah. You know, and I have to just stay composed and just calm down. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I be good, man. I just pray and I just. We've heard so many people say, you know, some of the older comedians say. Man, it's different, man. It's a different world out here because these guys are growing their own profiles and their own platforms by themselves. And you kind of feel like they respect it in a way, but at the same time, it's kind of like, yo, it's a whole different ball game. Do you, what do you think is like the biggest difference from going from like Instagram to the big stage and doing your own sets and stand-ups? I, I would say I think it's different. And I respect stand-up. Yes. And I see, you know, where they come from because a lot of people can't do that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you know, with Instagram, you have so many takes to get the correct take, but yes. when you're on that stage, there's only one take. Yeah. Ain't no, oh, let me do that again. Ain't, you know what I'm saying? No, shit, no. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you really have to rep the material that you have, you know what I'm saying, to get used to it and be able to, you know, share it to the people, you know what I'm saying? Not making it look so rehearsed, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But making it look fluent, like you're really telling a story, you know what I'm saying? Who are some of the dope comedians in the game, some of the young dope comedians like yourself, that you that you kind of respect their stand-up game and what they got going? Oh, uh, well, as far as stand-up right now, young people? Yeah, young people. It's around your age, kind of uh, well, doing, yeah. I would say, you know, DC Young Fly and DC's High doing Davis, it. they, they doing their thing with the whole stand-up thing, and that's that's probably what I can think right now, as far as doing social, well, you know, you got Jahan, but yeah, right now, you got B Simone, yeah, B, can't forget about yeah. me, um, she doing stand-up, so, you know, myself, but as far as, like, people that's been doing it, you know, my favorite is Eddie Murphy, you know uh, what I'm saying? Like classic. Fox, yeah, What's your like top that. three? Give me your top three all time, all time. Um, comedians? Yes, sir. Jamie Foxx, Eddie Murphy, Martin Lawrence. Jamie number one? Eddie Murphy number one. Eddie Murphy number one. Yeah. Okay, and then we got Martin Lawrence and yeah. ja then Jamie. Jamie. Yo, Jamie's so darn talented. Is he the most the most talented man in this on this world? Yeah. I think most that. I've been saying singing, that. Singing, doing drama movies, playing Ray Charles, doing the Jamie Foxx show, doing stand up. It's legendary. Yeah, I mean, you got Eddie Murphy doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, Martin Lawrence too. Yeah. yeah. All of them legendary. You know what I'm saying? So. I got a question that was pretty hot in the media a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago. Well, two questions that was hot in the media. Kev Hart was pretty upset. That Michael Blackson kind of oh. went went in his personal life when he was down. You know what I'm talking about here. Mm -hmm. When Michael Blackson kind of went in a little too far mm -hmm. when when Kev Hart was going through the alleged cheating. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Do you think there's any limits as a comedian yourself? Even though like Michael Blackson obviously knew Kevin Hart off you know outside exactly. of the media. Exactly. Did you think he kind of crossed the line because Kev was kind of fighting for his life at that point? Well, yeah. I wouldn't have did that yeah, personally, yeah. you know. I like you said, I don't know the connect that they have 100. Mm percent -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I understand where Kevin Hart was coming. I mean, I don't think that was needed. You know what I'm saying? But hey, you know, Black Michael Black, he's a comedian. Yeah. That's what he do. He's, so. I mean, he sees some hot content. Yeah, yeah. he's gonna hit it. So, yeah. yeah, I don't think it was. He wasn't doing it like intended to be in a negative way. He yeah. was just like. Just doing it because he thought it was funny on his behalf. I was watching your Throwback Thursday video of how you kind of got going with your big video with you and your grandma. You know, we, we love all your grandma skits that you do. What was like your beginning? And then could you tell me, was that the big video for you and your feeling and your estimation, the one that got you off the ground? How did you kind of get it going? Yeah, I'll probably say that was like one of my biggest videos that I have ever done. Wow. And that's when it was um 15 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now it's a minute, but got a little more time. That right there. That was the one, like, a lot of people say, yeah, this is the one I followed you on. This is the reason why I followed you, you know what I'm saying? So every time, I done reposted that video, like, three times. And it 
did the same yeah. thing like every time. So I know like that's one like that's a real deal. One. When do when did you know you had the grandma voice? Like what 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 did, where does that come from? Like is it your real grandma got, that you got that yeah, from? It is, yeah, it actually is. Wow. You know, yeah, them real people. You know what I'm saying? My grandma, her name is Teresa. Uh -huh. you know, her mother. It's all like tapped in. Even the um the granddaddy I played. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah, Uncle yeah. Earl. That's a um a real uncle of mine. Yeah. Famous early. You know what I'm saying? So all those is real people. Yeah. And you know it took me some time to like tap in those voices and really you know what I'm saying get it going. So, so I got three questions here. We have not rehearsed this, just a disclaimer. I'm going to ask Desi three questions, and I want his response in his grandma's voice. So I'm asking my grandma this. Like I said, I'm not lying. We have not rehearsed this. I got it on my phone here. I don't want to get the questions wrong. I'm going to ask you three questions. All right, first question. Grandma, I met a young lady at college. I think I want to bring her home for you to meet her for the first time. Is she smart? She's very smart. Is that right? She's very... We don't need no dumb female coming to our house, baby. Grandma, we go to a, a nice, nice university. She got to be smart to get in. Well, that's what I'm talking about. I'm proud of you. Now, grandma, and let grandma <laughs> now, 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 I didn't tell you this. Now, Grandma, the way she got into the school was that she got a strip on the side, Grandma. Grandma, she just got to make a little extra money. That, that nasty health. Grandma, she got to make a little extra money to... Pay for you school, better, Grandma. You better that just be in my house. <laughs> Grandma, I also wanted to tell you is that she, in, is she saved? She saved. She just strip a little bit on the side, Grandma, just to make a little money to pay for school. She she in medical school, Grandma. Well, I ain't gonna lie, you just strip a little bit back in my. Day. Oh no, you did, Grandma. <laughs> Daddy, Grandma, Grandma, you was a thot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was, no, it wasn't. Back in the day, it wasn't cold. Uh, it wasn't thot. It wasn't none of that. Uh, you was just being managed. Or? I was just doing what I had to do. <laughs> <laughs> to bring home the cornbread and the collard greens. Grandma, I forgot to tell you one other thing. What? In the last election, I accidentally voted for Trump. Get your ass out of <laughs> <laughs> My brother, I'm so proud of you and your success, man. Sure, Keep it up. My man. Mr. Teleferro TV, I'm here with Desi Banks. Yeah, hey, man, it's your boy Desi Banks, man. Checking in with Mr. Teleferro TV, man. Hey, you lit. <laughs>